Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you some hidden features in One UI 6 that I didn't mention before and I knew about them over time. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first change is the ability to force some apps to stay in dark mode even though your phone is set to light theme like in my case here. To achieve this you can go to settings and then advanced features and then laps and you will see a new option here called dark mode apps. From here, you can choose what apps to stay or what apps to force in dark mode, but I only got YouTube to support this feature. So let me show you here how it looks. So it's in dark mode, even though my phone is in light theme. Change number two, if you use Google Home to control your smart devices and then access the device control from the quick settings panel, you will see the redesigned home panel that Google pushed to Pixel devices in June 23 feature drop is now part of One UI 6 with much bigger buttons and the ability to adjust the colors. You have the color wheel, the temperature and so on. And by the way, this new change have been spotted by Mesha Rahman on Twitter and I found it here on my phone but doesn't look the best because of the different background colors but at least you get this redesigned look and if you want to activate Google Home you can simply tap on the ellipses at the top right corner then manage apps and activate Google Home from here. Change number three is the much smaller system file size under your storage. So when you go to settings and then go to device care then storage you will notice here that the system item is consuming much less data when compared to One UI 5. Before installing One UI 6, it used to be at 50 something gigabytes, but now it's at 17.56. And I also noticed much less storage consumption. So I'm not sure if the readings were incorrect in One UI 5 or Samsung is now more efficient, but either way, it's a welcome change. Change number four is in the camera widget. And after installing beta two, I noticed that I cannot resize the widget horizontally. I can only resize it vertically. And if you take a look at the screenshot on the side, I used to have four handles to adjust the size, but after installing beta two, I only have two of them. Change number five is the ability to transfer eSIMs between your Samsung devices. And this feature is not only limited to One UI 6, but you can also find it in One UI 5 as per Mesha Rahman on Twitter. And I found this option under my settings and then connections, then SIM manager. And when you tap on add eSIM and give it its time to load, you will see a new option here called transfer SIM from another device. When you tap on it, it says here, make sure your other Galaxy device has a secure screen lock and One UI 5.1. Then you need to put both phones next to each other while unlocking them. And once you get that transfer notification, just hit transfer and the eSIM will be transferred immediately. Uh, I personally use a physical SIM inside this phone to be able to uh, use it in multiple phones. But after implementing this feature in Android, I will no longer need to use a physical SIM and I can only rely on eSIMs, which is a really nice feature. So these are the hidden features I wanted to show you in One UI. Please let me know in the comments if you have even more stuff to include in my future videos. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.